Hello all and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting, we're going to be celebrating one of our Afro-Latino brothers, an Afro-Puerto Rican by the name of Rafael Cordero. And Rafael Cordero was nicknamed the father of education because he provided free schooling uh, to children in, on the island of Puerto Rico, regardless of their race or their social standing. He was born in 1790 and he died uh, 1868 just to show you how far back it was that he was um, you know taking on this role of and seeing the importance of education for all on the island of Puerto Rico. Now just to give a little background information uh, he was born in San Juan Puerto Rico uh, one of three children he came from humble beginnings his father worked in the tobacco fields and his mother was a homemaker. Now Cordero was self-educated and his love of literature and his determination to teach others and educate himself helped him to develop the skills that he needed and to prepare him to teach primary school. Now he also was very religious. He was a devout Catholic and I mentioned this because religious instruction is one of the things that he taught in his uh, primary school that he started later on. Now, the primary school was started in 1810, and it was a free school, as mentioned, for children, uh, for all children in his house, uh, regardless of their race or whether or not they can pay for the education. He still saw the importance of education, and he taught anyone who would come to his school, who would come to his house to learn. Uh, he taught reading. He taught calligraphy, mathematics, and as already mentioned, he uh, gave religious instruction. Now... Um, he also uh, taught some, he also had some distinguished alumni, uh, men who became artists and poets and abolitionists, men who we, who we are going to highlight on everyday black history, um, you know, because of their contributions to black history, whether it be through art, through uh, literature, or through being abolitionists to get rid of slavery on the island of Puerto Rico. Those are things that we're going to touch later on. But today we're focusing on Rafael Cordero and his, accompli his accomplishments and contributions to black history. But he um, maintained his educational center for 58 years at Luna Street. So almost six decades, he taught and shaped the minds of all on the island of Puerto Rico. Not just, you know young black afro puerto ricans but all who came to learn uh, he proved that racial and economic integration could be possible and accepted which is always important now uh, cordero was a part of you know many social clubs and economic clubs and uh, whose members were friends of Puerto Rico. So in these clubs, there were a lot of, you know, men who were well healed, who had money. And whenever they would give him money as being a member of the club and for his, um, you know, accomplishments, he would always use that money, give some to homeless. He would give some to the students so that they can buy books, so that they can buy clothes. But he would all, always give to those who were in need. And he was so well respected and loved in Puerto Rico that when he died, over 2,000 people attended his funeral in 1868. That's 1868, over 2,000 people attended his uh, funeral. And if you go to the island of Puerto Rico, then you can see how well he was honored. Um, he was honored through poetry. He was honored through art. They are museums in Puerto Rico where they have, you know, um, you know, well-known artists, well-known Puerto Rican artists or artists of many different backgrounds have uh, painted his portrait and they, you know, deck the halls of many museums. And even the school, the house that he used on Luna Street as a school for almost six decades was remodeled by the government of Puerto Rico and registered as a historic site in the National Register of, Victor of Historical Places of the United States. There's a plaque outside which shows the historical significance of the building and its relation to him. There's even schools uh, named after him in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Aquadilla, and even in Jersey City, um, New Jersey, as well as in Brooklyn, New York. So even outside of the island of Puerto Rico, he's still being honored because of his accomplishments and through educating you know, the minds of many and being accepting to all, no matter their race or social standing. So um, we can see that 
um, Rafael Cordero uh, gave a huge uh, contribution to black history. As you can, as we mentioned, through art, through literature, he's honored. Um, you know, his school is a historical site. So, Rafael Cordero, we thank you for your contribution to black history, and we salute you. Now, if you want to look up more information on Rafael Cordero, you can, you know, always, you know, get online and, you know, look him up because there are, there's a lot more information that can, that can be known about him um, online on Google. You can Google it. So do yourself a favor, as I mentioned with everyone who we highlight on Everyday Black History, look him up and allow yourself to be educated for his accomplishments and influenced by his good deeds. Um, as you know, they are you know good deeds that we all can copy when it comes to acceptance for all. So that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Tune in again as we'll be having more people and institutions that we'll be highlighting across the whole African diaspora. So stay tuned. <music>